Welcome back, welcome back everybody to another ISO upload. It's been forever since I uploaded a game, and I have two requests, so here they are. This is Beyond the Beyond ISO. Pushing start on the gamepad as usual. Get everything on the road. Something terrible is about to happen. I need your help. All right, new journey. What is your name? Wait, you just push anything. Okay, put my name here. Do, 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 do. Why is it hard for me to find that? Mm. There you go. <laughs> BS. Oh. Backspace. I thought that was going to generate some random name, like, you know, real BS. This actually looked like a pretty good game from the cover, so if everything works out, I'm going to play it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and skip the intro, just record again when the play the gameplay happens. I kind of wish I recorded that, but I didn't. It's a pretty good intro, I'll tell you that much. Although this guy's face is uh anything but good. All right, so now we wake up after that big old cutscene with your dad and sister and someone else, and there's a dragon going cute right next to you. Yeah, well, what he said. Come on, get up! Every start of a game, nobody wants to wake up. Shoot, if I know I had a big adventure ahead of me like that, I'd not only wake up, I'd freaking jump out of the house. Jeez. Don't get any ideas, that's your sister. And apparently whenever they have emotions, they shake and bobble up and down. Bubble bubble. Use triangle to search. And then you use X for the menu. That's kind of weird. Prepare. Hmm. Alright, so your first mission is to go to the well and get some spirit water. I bet you there's like some kind of hidden treasure in the basement. Yep, you get a short sword, and there's a treasure chest here already. Uh. I guess you're giving things to the treasure chest. That doesn't really make much sense. Then again... Boring old storage trunk. Well, this game is a little different than most RPGs. Alright, then let's head to the Cave of the Spirits, just like the dragon said. Wait, what? It 
So apparently they're not going to let you leave the house unless you go to this uh, treasure trunk, quote unquote, and take the items out of it. So just click X and remove the items out of there. And... Weapons. Money. Go to the items and... Now that we have everything, I bet we can leave to go to the spring, whatever the hell I'm supposed to go to. There we go. Oh, nope, there's another catch. Alright, first battle at the Cave of Spirits. Let's see how you do this attack. Pretty weird battle system. Pretty simple. For now. So we just skipped over a cutscene with Annie, the, the sister, and she's gonna go ahead and get the water. And then right before that, the guy is like, oh no, take the spear pass to the right, because that other way is dangerous, and I believe I just died. Okay. I'm not really sure what happened there, but uh... So now we have to go chase down the girl. There she is. I can already see where this is going. Alright, so apparently if you die once you come back, but if you die twice you automatically get sent to a nearby church apparently. So now I'm back in town. I really don't feel like going back and chasing after the girl because I bet you get there and the girl is going to be all brave and then you get to fight a boss. And if I'm wrong then this game is actually pretty good. But due to lack of patience, I'm going to end the video here. Again, link in the description as always, and happy gaming!